we have one month left until your GCSE exam starts. So this is how we can get a grade nine with one month left. In the exam, you need to be working at roughly one mark per minute. So practice how long each question style takes you. If you're spending 10 minutes on a four mark question, then this is probably too long. Practice doing lots of four, six, or eight mark questions from one subject all in one go and see what you need to do to improve your technique. Do you need to switch to bullet points? Are you needlessly repeating the question and your answer? As you read the question, before you even think of the answer, start jotting down the key words that spring to mind. Lauren, our head of biology, does an excellent job of showing you this when she walks through the papers, the GCSE and alien biology predictive papers that she's done. She talks you through her thinking as she first reads the question and starts writing things down before she's even read the first sentence. And this helps to remind you what's covered in your answer. Read the question before you read the text or the extract. For English, history, or even biology, you will see we recommend skipping to the question before reading the block of text that's been given. This will allow you to keep in mind what you're looking for as you read the text. You can then highlight things as you're going along, but read them the whole text before you start to answer the question. This is because even if the question's asking about lines four to seven, something in line 19 might actually help put you in the right direction or jog your memory. Again, you'll see our teachers demonstrate this as we go through the predictive papers and video walkthroughs that we've done for this year. How you lay out your answer is important. The examiner is overworked, underpaid, and under a lot of pressure. If your answer is a mess, a jumble, and is really hard to work out, they're gonna be really hard to find you the marks. They will try, but make it easy for them. Planning is important. Once you finish an essay or a long answer, go back to the beginning and plan it. This will help you get used to doing it in the exam. Highlighters are your new best friend. You can't write your answers in them because they will get scanned, the exam papers get scanned and sent off to the examiners and highlighters don't scan, so they won't be able to see anything you've written in a highlighter. But what you can do is use them to highlight important bits of information, keywords, picking out angles in geometry so that you can actually use them to improve your grade. Now, one of the things I strongly recommend that you do is as many papers as possible. And the absolute gold standard best way to do this is by watching examiners work through the papers, which is why we have put so much time and effort into actually making all of these for you. So all the predictive papers that we've written for this year, and there are a lot. And we have video walkthroughs to go through all of those. So whether it's you're working on your history, whether it's you're working on your math, we have papers to help you with all of that. Ouch! This is why in some videos I explain scratches.